This is a busy rec center. You do have a family pool over there as well. And I did show you that in the last video. These are the courtyard villas that are gonna be available for sale. Hello and welcome friends. Thank you for liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate it. Today's video is an update vi video on the new courtyard villas that are being constructed in the northern part of the villages. Very near Morse Boulevard. I did a, several update videos in the past. And there are 25 new courtyard villas being constructed where the old Hacienda Golf and Country Club used to be, over on Morse Boulevard. Here I am driving east on El Camino Real Drive. And I am heading over to the new courtyard villa is being built in Hacienda. As mentioned before, there are 25 new courtyard villas being built on the former site of the Hacienda Hills Golf and Country Club that the developer tore down and was thinking about building apartments and over the last couple of years, through negotiations with the area local residents, who did not want an apartment building built on the former site of the Hacienda Hills Gulf and Country Club, the developer decided to build 25 new courtyard villas and a smaller version of the Hacienda Golf Club I am gonna drive over there, friends, and show you and give you an update on what those courtyard villas look like. Stay tuned, friends. I am located at the Cordoba Recreation and Postal Center here in the Villages, Florida. This is located just off of Morse Boulevard and you can see they do have two pickleball courts right here as well. And there is the Postal Center. And today I'm going to give you an update on these new courtyard villas that are being built. Here where the former Hacienda Hills Golfing Country Club used to be. One of my subscribers did ask me to provide an update on these courtyard villas. And I do have some information for you. This is a busy rec center. You do have a family pool over there as well. And I did show you that in the last video. These are the courtyard villas that are gonna be available for sale. And you can see they have the roof on, they're starting to put the siding on. You can see they are busy working on these courtyard villas. Thank you for liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. I will walk around the backside of these villas. I did contact the sales office about these villas. They also have a nice little walking trail and park here as well. I did contact the sales office regarding these courtyard villas and much to my surprise, not all of them are sold. 
The individual I spoke to at the sales office indicated to me that here's the back side of one of these homes. The sales agent told me that she expects these to be completed between 30 and 60 days from now and they would be available for sale in a little more than 30 days. That's what she thought. She also indicated to me that there is a lot of interest in these homes. She said she's getting a lot of phone calls about these homes. And she said they're gonna sell out within one day. They're gonna be sold out is what she told me. And I do believe that. So if you're interested in one of these homes, what you need to do is contact a sales agent and when these homes become available for sale, that sales agent will contact you the night before to see if you are interested in this home, in these homes. And the very next day, what they do is they open up their computer system and these sales agents log into the computer system and the minute these homes are on their computer system for sale, they will submit an offer and the first offer that's submitted is the one that's accepted so there might be 50 sales agents logging onto the computer system all at the same time submitting 50 offers for the same home and if you're lucky enough to be the first one, you win the opportunity to buy the home. That's how the sales system works here, even on the newer homes in the southern part of the villages. A lot of these homes, you have to be somewhat lucky to buy. And if uh, your sales agent is the first one to submit the offer, you're the one that is going to be buying the home. I also asked the sales agent about the bonds as well. And she said, yes, there will be a bond on these homes. The bond amount has not yet been determined. But soon, the bond amount will be determined Shortly before these homes go up for sale, they will determine a bond amount. The bond amount will be dependent on the cost to develop this area. They have to put streets in, they put storm and sanitary sewers in this community. I would imagine the cost to remove the old Hacienda Hills Country Club will also be included in that bond amount. And I know a lot of my subscribers have been asking about how is that bond calculated? It's gonna be calculated just like any other neighborhood, even if it's a brand new development. There are costs to develop this area. And those costs will be accumulated and tabulated. And they will be calculated based on the size of the home or the size of the lot that the home is on. And I asked her, I said, uh, there are between 25 and 28 homes. I read an article that indicated there were 25 homes. The sales agent told me there might be 28 homes. She wasn't quite sure, but there are between 25 and 28 new homes for sale that will be for sale at least. And you can see some of the homes on the end look like they've been painted. 
Thank you for liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate it. I wanted to give you this update on these new courtyard villas here. In the northern part of the villages, you can see the swimming pool right there. So the good news is, friends, is that these homes will be available. They're not all sold. Maybe the ones with the swimming pools are sold. And these homes are going to be up for sale using the same methodology that you would purchase a new home in the southern part of the villages as well. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. I do appreciate it. I will take a walk over there. Some of these homes on the end look like they've been painted or are being painted. Like that house there looks like it has yellow paint on and then one next to it looks like it's an off-white paint color. Thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing. I do appreciate it. I'll take a look at this one. You can see that the swimming pool deck is already there. That pool looks really deep. That is a really deep swimming pool, wow. And that is your Hacienda Golf Club over there. Hacienda Hills Golf Club right there. That's a new building as well. And there is your championship golf course. And they are watering the golf course to reduce the water levels on the retention ponds. One other thing I wanted to mention. I did ask the sales agent about pricing of these homes. And she thought the pricing would be very similar to what the pricing is on the new courtyard villas in the southern part of the villages. You know, there are going to be uh, different price levels for different locations, like all these homes facing the golf course will have higher prices than the homes on the other side of the street that don't have a golf course view. And she said the price a lot depends on the finishes inside. For instance, some of these homes, they might put quartz and countertops in and some they might not. But she thought that the pricing should be very similar to the courtyard villas found in the southern part of the villages. She was thinking that you could reasonably expect some of these uh, courtyard villas to be in the high 300s all the way up to the high 500s that's thousands of dollars depending on the finishes and the view so that is your update on the pricing of these homes they should be very similar to the pricing in the south thank you for liking thank you for subscribing i do appreciate it take care